Hi, so I thought I'm gonna record a video about the sun creams that I use for my sun allergies and prickly heat. I did record one a few years ago, I'm gonna link it somewhere here. And uh, I was actually thinking of taking it down because I am not using those sun creams anymore and I found an alternative that's uh, a lot more natural and works for my skin a lot better. But I didn't take it down in the end yet because I do see how many people do find it really helpful. And so I get it. I get that it can help still, even though they might not be the best for me anymore. Yeah. But because summer is approaching, I thought I'm going to do one about sun creams that I'm using now. And so here we are. So I have been using the sun cream by Green People. I think I've been using it for about maybe two years now, almost three, I guess. The reason why I switched to this uh, is because it's a lot more natural. I don't know if it's like fully natural, but it's like 84% organic. Uh, it's vegan friendly, like in a recyclable packaging. But the most important thing for me is that there aren't like those really harsh chemicals in it. Uh, I started researching sun creams and I realized how harsh they can be to our skin because obviously skin is the biggest organ and whatever we put into the skin, onto the skin, it goes into the body. So it's almost like eating it in the end. That's kind of how I see it. And so, yeah, at the same time, I do completely understand that when we have sun allergies, like whatever helps, it's like what we're going to use. Right. And so I do think my allergies got a lot better in the past few years i've been doing a lot of work on that and uh so i think it's a mixture of like why i can use this sun cream and also yeah my allergy is not being as, as as strong so this sun cream it does protect you from uva and uvb i do talk about them a lot in the other video so i'm not going to talk about it here again but essentially when you have sun allergies, you do need to look at the UVA sun rays um, protection. Hence, this sun cream is really good. They are the longer ones that really penetrate the skin more. So they use a lot of organic ingredients, like I mentioned before, like plant extracts. I think aloe vera. I'm going to link the sun cream below so that you can read into it more and see if there's any ingredients that you cannot use. Uh, but it is really good for like skin relief as well if you already have a little bit of um, irritation i do find it feeling very very soothing it does actually have this like uh beige color to it which i love because a lot of sun creams are completely white and like when you put them on you know the stronger ones when you put them on they do leave this like not of the nicest shade <laughs> on her skin uh whereas this one's really good and it's super smooth to put on like it's super easy to put on and yeah like i just loved it like the first time i put it on i was like whoa like what is this so yeah it does hydrate a lot as well again another good good thing so i usually start with factor 30 when i'm at the very beginning of my sun exposure and then i go to factor 15 one five like Seriously, I ended up using factor 15 and that's like the first sun cream ever that I can use factor 15 since my sun allergies started, obviously. And I find it just as helpful. And okay, to give you a little bit of a background, I'm living in Asia right now. And so the fact that I can use these sun creams here and that they work, it's incredible. And maybe i can share a little message of hope <laughs> for those of you really struggling with sun allergies like my sun allergies were super bad really bad you know but then at the same time i know some people have it as bad as like not being able to sit inside with the lighting because they're so so powerful right like the some people actually are allergic to the light bulbs inside indoors you know so when i say my ones were bad they were bad for me to the to the point where I had to put my sun cream on even if I would go into this in the sun for like 10 minutes like I had to put it on otherwise I would just end up with a rash now touch wood I've been kind of like I said I've been doing a lot of work internally externally uh, emotionally everything and uh, I got it to the point where I now actually a few weeks ago I would leave my house 
I would go get a coffee outside without any sun creams on and I didn't get a rash, you know, touch wood again. So I do think I kind of like built it up a little bit and now it's a lot better. And I'm sharing it because I was all like, honestly, I was at a point where I was like, seriously, like, this is just like, what do I do? Like, how, how, how can I heal this? You know, and it, I, I get it. Like it takes, it's really heavy and it's really tricky and it's really difficult and i just want to share it with you that it is possible and i do think like getting used to the sun slowly gradually more and more and more definitely helped me um and also depending where i am certain places i do feel like the sun in europe is a little bit more I don't know like if it affects me more than the sun in asia which sounds quite bizarre and i don't know maybe this is just me obviously it is like very personal but yeah if if you are someone that's just kind of like i don't know what to do anymore i kind of want to give up like don't don't like seriously there are like there is a chance and it is possible Anyway, going back to the sun creams. So uh, the reason why I love, 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 love this and like all my friends are joking that I should be their ambassador because I always talk about these sun creams. You can actually order something from their website, uh, whatever it is. And usually, I don't remember if you pay for these or if they send them for free. I think it depends uh, like on the promo that they have, but you can get like these testers as well. And obviously using these testers can then help you uh, see if they work or not. Like obviously they're really tiny, but you can also order these small ones. You can <laughs> you can barely read anything because I've had it for so long, but uh, I mean, it's traveled a lot with me. <laughs> you can order these smaller ones as well, which is cheaper. And I know sun allergies, it's so tricky to find sun cream that does work. And it's super expensive to be ordering all these different sun creams. So I think this one is a good size to give it a try, give it a go. And the first time I tried it out, I think was, yeah, like I went to Greece and I was trying it out in Greece. And I remember I was just so impressed. I, I was using Factor 30 the whole time. I was so impressed. After four days, I didn't have any rash. And then I would just stay in the sun much longer. And that's when I, I got a rash in the end. But it wasn't as strong as before and so yeah that's kind of when i realized oh actually i think this might be the sun cream for me before i would use eucerin a lot which was very specific for sun allergies and it was like the only thing that worked for me for years then i would use the sun cream from boots i don't remember the the name but it's it's going to be in the other video like it, it is in the other video if you want to see and it was also really good but like i said this just feels a lot better on my skin and they have loads of stuff actually uh, they have like shampoos, you know, shower gels and everything and even makeup. So what I do, because I do travel a lot, when I go on little, little short trips, I just put it in these little containers, which might be very useful for you if, if you also travel and you don't do that yet, uh, especially if you only have hand luggage. Going away with sun allergies to sunny places means we need to have a lot and hand luggage only means up to 100 mil and these little uh travel containers so you can have like sometimes i would take you know like four or five of these if the trip was a little longer but i didn't have luggage so you can kind of do that too yeah i hope this helps if you have any questions let me know i just want you to know that you can do this and i i really do believe that we can heal our allergies even though it's really difficult sometimes yeah uh, don't give up please and i you know like the first time i went to asia everybody was like well you're going to asia like you have so many allergies and sun allergies you're gonna go to asia are you kidding me i was like well i'm not gonna give up on my dreams like i, I gotta go and it wasn't the smoothest <laughs> right i did end up in a hospital at one point but like for my sun allergies but it's because i i didn't really know how to handle it and it was very beginning of it the very beginning of the journey now um like i said like i'm more aware of what works and what to do and what not to do so yeah i hope this helps i am sending you lots of love take care and you can do this Mwah.